जय श्री राम ये सनातन धर्म डूइंग भक्ति इज सो ईसी सो ईसी दट एनी बडी कैन डू इट इन फैक्ट वन टाइम पार्वती माता वॉज आस्किंग महादेव वट इज द ईसीएस्ट वे टू डू भक्ति वट इज द राइट वे टू डू भक्ति एंड दिस इज इन पोर्शन ऑफ विष्णु सहसर नाम ईश्वर ओ वॉच वेर महादेव हिमसेल्फ says that you don't need to do anything extraordinary to attain moksha or attain the grace of krishna you know you don't need to be a pandit who knows all the shlokas everything you don't need to do those things all you have to do is just to say the name of rama ram 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 when you say the name of rama the blessing pours on you i'm going to explain you a story very interesting story that you may love after which you will have the whole shloka there was a young boy in gurukul living in those days who was very close to his guru and uh, he was learning all the right things from the guru one day one man came there running you know he was devastated he he wanted to meet his guru and uh, he, you know he was crying you know uh, the boy was uh, he must be 10 or 11 he he, he he was very concerned he asked what do you want and the man said i want to meet guruji guruji has gone to take shower so the boy said uh, what can you do now you can wait for some time but may know the reason why you are here so if i can help you with any way i can and uh, the man started crying you know what i have disease all over you know i have enemies attacking me you know uh, i have money problem i have relationship problem i have this problem that problem you talk about all the problem in the world i had he was explaining i'm crying the boy he got he has heard from his guru many many time so he said you for this question you don't need to wait to meet my guru i can say you what to do and you do it you can absolutely get rid of all the sufferings in life all the evils in life and you can be a bliss for bliss filled person you can be a blessed person he said the man could not believe so he asked the young boy hey brahmachari say me what is it i have to do to get rid of all the sufferings the boy said it's very simple all you have to do is say rama can you say rama 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 you say this and all your sufferings will be gone he said and the man could not believe he said that simple he said yes it is said the boy so the man was all excited he left he knows he can do this he is going to take shower and say the name rama 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 and get rid of all the sufferings and he is going to be a blessed person he had faith see that's a difference between a devotee and a so called an intellectual okay the devotee believes as it is said so he ran he couldn't believe he ran all the way to his place and uh, the boy was so excited and by the time his guruji came and he said uh, guruji he uh, he said namaste to guruji and uh, then guruji asked the uh, young boy uh, the brahmachari is there any news for me by the time i was not here anybody came in search of me the boy said uh, he was very proud he was excited you know you can see it on his face and uh, he said yes guruji you know there was a visitor to see you and this man was crying and he had all the sufferings in life you talk about he was explaining all the sufferings he has to go through in life and he wanted to meet you and get to know how to get rid of the sufferings then the guruji asked to brahmachari so now where is he he said uh, guruji please forgive me i know what you will say 
so that is very easy for me so i didn't want him to wait that long with the suffering so i told him the secret and he left already guruji asked him, so what did you say he said all you have to do is say the name of rama 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 four times and that's it all your suffering will be gone said the brahmachari that's what i told the man and he he was all excited he asked me if it is that easy i said absolutely it is and uh, he ran a grand home in excitement he said so the guruji was very upset he said you mean to say you didn't have belief that all the sufferings will go in one one time saying rama so you didn't have belief so you went to say rama 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 so you thought by saying the name four times only the sufferings will go you are unworthy to be of my student so i give you the curse you will become a hunter and roam around knowing nothing and understand the value of the name rama and you will guide a lot of people he gave the curse in that way you will able to guide people right he said and if the story goes as such that boy because of the curse in the next book became bhagwan valmiki can you believe that just because he said four times rama 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 how how easy it can get more you are with the faith with belief all we have to do is say the name of rama and same thing for parvati mata bhagwan mahadev says says name of rama and you will go to it is deeper than the meditation you can get in and you can attain all your desires including the vaikun he says in fact that is vishnu sarasvana was told by pitama bishm in kurukshetra when he was on the bed of arrows can you believe he was bleeding on the bed of arrows but he was explaining and he was chanting and he was singing vishnu sagasarnam do you know who was in audience for the first time very first time when vishnu pitama did vishnu sagasarnam it was bhagwan krishna himself folks i am saying you it cannot get better it, it cannot get any more easier there is no other secret but rama's name now you can enjoy and hear the sloka chanted by vaishnavi dilipan we wish and pray you your family your friends and all your loved ones be blessed abundantly and exceedingly with the health wealth the prosperity peace and all your dharmic desires shall come true jai shri ram shri ram 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 ite ram Sahasranam tat tulyam ramana